Hey guys, this is Kenesha from VeryThoughtfulLife.com. I wanted to come to you today to share with you to be careful of distractions. So for years now, I've kind of known my purpose. Um, didn't quite, when I was young, I, I felt this, this need or this desire to help women. I always wanted to work in the women's ministry or work with young girls. Um, so that was the desire, but I, it never came to be. So I didn't quite know how to make this thing happen. Um, over the years, through a lot of pain and a lot of tribulations and just a lot of um, uncomfortable situations, um, God took me through a process of healing and dealing with my own stuff and coming to a level of awareness that was needed to be able to work in this this thing that I, I believe is my purpose. So now um, I've been for the last, I would say about three years, at least the time I've been in China, for a long time it felt like isolation to me. I'll be honest with you guys, it's been kind of rough sometimes. Um, it can get really lonely, but I was intentional. I did think that like God had his purpose and he was doing a work in me. And so I used that time to write workshops when I didn't necessarily have a workshop audience, um, research, uh, read, learn about emotions, learn about um, emotional self-work, learn about healing. I use that time. And what I've learned over time is that God puts a purpose inside of us. And then we have this yearning to do the thing he's calling us to do, but we have to be prepared. So we cannot just be this thing that is like yearning inside of you until you do the work. So go do the work and get prepared. Well, now 2016 has come and it feels like this is my season. Um, I've been asked to do a retreat. I'm preparing for a workshop that I'm offering here in about, I think it's two weeks now. Um, just this morning, I got another message asking me to put on a marriage workshop. So I feel like that this is my time. One of the things that God put in my heart and my spirit about two weeks ago is he wanted me to come into the awareness of how um, I'm spiritually attacked. And one of my, my, the, I've, I've learned that like my spiritual attacks come in my head. Like, you know, I grew up hearing people say, oh, the devil messed with my money or he messed with my car. That is not, that hasn't been the way I see spiritual attacks. So it's just, for me, it's been, I get overwhelmed with negative thoughts and they become so heavy that it feels almost like I can touch them. So I decided recently to write down what my distractions were because when I'm in these heavy emotional spiritual attacks and my, my, my negative self-talk is telling me, you know, you're not worthy, you can't do anything, um, you'll never be, no one loves you, just all of these really crazy things that's running through my head, it, it shuts me down. I can't, I can hardly read anything um, to be prepared for my workshops. I can, I can I can't even really read the word, but I can hear it. So what I've learned to do is to be in the awareness that this is what this is, that this is a, an attack. And so then I will go and seek messages, ministers that I like to listen to that can help draw me out of that. And then I start speaking the word of God over myself. And this draws me out of that, that dark place. So, but what I've recently done is I've written that down. I've written down my purpose and my goals for 2016. And then I wrote down, what are my distractions? What kind of thoughts come to attack me, to keep me um, distracted from achieving my goal? And up under the distractions, I wrote the very opposite, God's word, positive self-talk, um, thoughts of healing, thoughts of love, joy, peace, so that when I'm in that place, I can work quickly to recoup and get out of that negative place that's trying to take me away from God's purpose. So what I want you guys to get aware of, and the reason I'm sharing this video is because I need you guys to work hard at getting so in tune to your own negative self-talk, or if you want to call it the devil or whatever, however he comes at you so that you can not just go to battle, but go to battle quickly. You know, like move out of the place where he can keep you in this play, this, this, um, darkness for too long. So, so go quickly. So 
because of this awareness, like everything that comes my way now, if it does not feel like it's coming from a place of love, joy, peace, everything that the Bible tells me is God, um, self-control, if it's not from that kind of place, I, I question it. And I immediately ask myself, is this a distraction? Is this a new thing that's coming along to try to get me off of my purpose? Guys, I have been writing workshops like crazy. Um, I've been asked, it, this, is, this has been a beautiful time for me. I've been asked to come and do things, all the things that I've been asking God to do in just a short time in 2016. It's like he's opening doors. I don't want to miss it. Like, I am not interested in missing my blessings because I am somewhere distracted by my feelings, my emotions, or someone else's stuff. That's not my thing. I'm here to help people. I'm here to, to seek my own healing. Trust me, I've been in the, in the jungle, in the wilderness with God. Me and him, he's completely shown me who I am. I still have shortcomings. I'm okay with that. The old me, the new me. I remember I heard Steve Harvey say, he was like, um, I was what I was, I am what I am, and I'm both. I'm good with both of them. And that's why I am right now. I was what I was, and I am what I am, and I'm good with both of that. Because God has taken everything that I've gone through, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and he's chose to use it. But the only way he could use that in my life is that I live at a level of awareness that everything that has happened to me, every hurt, pain, loss, discomfort, he did not do it to hurt me. It was allowed in my life to grow me. And so I've been on this journey. I've been working to grow. I'm not, I do not think myself to be perfect. I, have, I am at total peace with being wrong. I'm at total peace with not having to prove my point. My thing right now in life is to bring as much peace, love, and joy to other people as I've allowed God to bring to me. So for me, I keep my circle, I keep my mind, I keep my heart, I keep my eyes very protected. I'm very intentional about what I let in and what I will not let in. Because <laughs> there's a scripture in Nehemiah where Nehemiah has gone to build the rebuild the wall for his people because he's doing this unto God. And some people come and the king send people to say, come have dinner with me. And Nehemiah said, no. Um, I'm about my father's business and I'm, I'm probably misquoting that, but his, his point was, I know what I'm, I'm here to do and I can't let anything distract me. And that's why I am now. I'm doing all I can not to be distracted. So if there's any way I can help you get connected with your purpose, understand that your purpose is going to take preparation. So where are you on the path? Are you in your, I'm seeking my purpose or I found my purpose, Kenesha, but I don't know how to make it work. Because if you don't know how to make it work, it's probably because you are in the preparation stage. So pay attention to what's going on, to, on in your life that is preparing you for your purpose. And then when you move out of, okay, you're prepared and you're ready to go, trust, know, and understand that things are going to come at you. Stuff from your past is going to come up <laughs> to try to distract you. Do all you can to stay focused on God. And for me, the test is, does it bring love, peace, joy, self-control? All the things that the Bible tells me is his spirit. And that doesn't mean that bad things won't happen. That doesn't mean I still won't suffer loss. But I've learned that in the midst of my loss, I can still have peace. And so I encourage you guys to be about your business. Hold on to God. Allow him to grow you. Know that whatever trials and tribulations you're going through is if you ask this question instead of asking why, if you ask the question, OK, God, what is this here to teach me? I promise you it will change everything because everything comes in our life to teach us something about us. And we have to remember in order to grow in God, he's interested in your character growth. And so if you're facing a hard time. Maybe he needs to strengthen you in controlling your emotions. Maybe he needs to strengthen you in um, submitting, submitting your will to someone else's, whether it be your bosses or your spouse. Um, but know that all and everything that God does is to grow us and to get us closer to him and to be more like him. So I pray that this message bless someone today. 
I ask you to be about your business, walk in your purpose every single day, and do it with love, peace, and joy, and self-control. This is Kanisha from Very Thoughtful Life. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.